Hey guys, and welcome back to the Lakescape podcast. I'm Daniel. I'm joined today uh, with Ken. He is with uh, Wavelink Secure, and he's going to tell us a little bit about this uh, awesome product they've got. And um, uh, welcome, Ken. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Uh, first off, just want to uh, I want you to explain to our listeners what ESD is, the electric shock drowning. Yeah, it's uh, uh, and we're building awareness. Not everyone knows what it is. People are hearing more and more about it because unfortunately more deaths are happening the cdc says 4500 uh per year are happening uh each year not necessarily electronic shock drownings but drownings and more and more are being classified as electric shock gotcha um so what 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 happens is when you enter the water and there's a dangerous level of electricity the muscles seize and you can't move and then you go to the bottom and, and, and drown. So it's a, it's a horrible way to die. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's, um, there's no way to know by just looking at the water that, that, uh, that there's an issue. Sure. So, you know, any environment is, is, is a potential killer. Yeah. And I know it's more important than ever. I mean, with our company and, and how many boat lifts we install every year, uh, we're going to have at least 120 volts down at the dock on every dock. And then uh, a good majority of those will have 240 volts running down to the boat lifts uh, Mm -hmm. because that's recommended by the boat lift manufacturer. If you're not uh, familiar with 240 volts, if you look at your your dryer at your house and that big plug that's there, um, that's 240. So there's a lot of uh, power coming through those lines. There is. You know, you think about 30, 40, 50 years ago, this was not as much an issue because there wasn't power down at the dock or it was limited, maybe one lamp. Um, but to, to your point, yes, there's more and more going down to the dock, boat lifts, electrical outlets, lighting, kitchens, sure. even in, in, some, in some cases. Uh, so there's more chance for um, danger and yeah. dangerous current to be in the water. And even having, you know, new electrical run, you know, uh, all new electrical is going to have, you know, ground faults installed. But, you know, even those products can fail on you. So... Uh, having a device that's going to alert you if there's some danger, dangerous currents in the water uh, is a must-have for your for your dock. Yeah, we, we, we think so, and that's why we yeah. started started the company. Yeah. Uh, so I am familiar with, you know, uh, the legacy units that had, you know, come out years ago. Uh, what would you say makes your product different than the uh, the other products that are on the market? So we, we looked at, because of some tragic events, the, the founders of our company began looking at those legacy solutions, and they found a couple of issues. One, uh, limited coverage area, and then number two, false alerts. Mm-hmm. So the units, you know, my, my neighbor had, had one of the legacy units, and he said, yeah. I, just, I turned the thing off because it was just going off all the time. Yeah. Does no good then. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's... Um, it, it, you know, in, in the perfect environment, it could be of, of value, but, you know, you're, da- you're down at the lake and that thing's going off all the time. You know, boy, the boy who cried wolf, you're just going to just going to turn it off. Sure. So you're not you're not protected. Yeah. Uh, and so they started looking at how could we create a better solution? And and that's what this solution is. It, it, it solves those two limitations of the legacy units. It, it provides a coverage area that's as, as large as and larger of any any dock that uh, that we've seen um, that we've that we've installed, and then we've particularly spent a lot of time and effort and money in developing a learning algorithm. So every lake environment is different, lake to lake, dock to dock within within the lakes. You're going to have you know different rocks that ground wood that grounds you're going to have clarity of water that's different from you know location to location so the device needs to be able to look at and ours does look at it learn that lake and environment identify certainly when it's when it's uh when it's dangerous but also to give you an idea of hey what what what's in this environment you might have an issue with one of your neighbors that has leaking electricity into the water that's potentially dangerous we found that and we found here at this lake, brand new dock that had a dangerous level of electricity and grandkids were coming the next week. It was around July 4th. So for that, for that client, they were very thankful that we found it. You have a lot of improvements. Uh, you know, the device that's mounted on the dock, you have the indicator here, uh, lets you know that the water's safe uh, or if there is current in the water. 
Uh, with that as well, you have the option to have an app um, that gives you notifications yep. there as well. Uh, another thing that's, that's nice about your unit is it's got a, a data plan uh, that you'll purchase with it, and you're constantly you know sending updates to the unit to make sure that you have the current software uh, and you know always making improvements on it. We we are so we're we're getting two way information. Back to your earlier point, we have it lights up if, if it's blue, it's it's good. If it's uh, if it's uh, an orange reddish color, then you know stay out of the water. Sure. And it has an uh, audible alert too. Mm. And it will alert, alert the app uh, should you choose to use the app. But, uh, but yes, we're getting two-way communication from the unit. So we're learning the environment, uh, and we're also pushing down new uh, software code that, uh, that improves each unit. So it's, that's a nice. continual process for us. Continual improvement on that algorithm for us. Yeah, that's a huge improvement from uh, the, uh, the older units, uh, legacy units that I familiar with years ago but uh i know you'd mentioned to me that uh you guys are working with some of the marinas in the area uh get some units installed tell me a little bit about that yeah thank you yeah we we uh last year uh marina started asking us hey you know do we do you have a solution for us and we thought we said well i thought folks that don't swim at your marinas mm-hmm. and they well they're not supposed to yeah but but they but they do at times a dog will jump you know jump in and they'll jump after the dog or a kid will jump in and and we just need to to mitigate that risk and so we began working on a solution, and, and we have a solution that we're rolling out now. Uh, our first our first client is here local. It's uh, Russell Marine at, at the Ridge Marina. All of their wet slips uh, will be covered by uh, a mesh of our units. Nice. So they'll, be, they'll be able to see down to, you know, which slip at the end, uh, wherever the electrical issue is, they'll be, we'll be isolated for them. Nice. Well, Wavelink Secure is a awesome product, and you definitely need to have it on your dock. Uh, at Lakescape, we are a stocking dealer. Uh, our service team has been trained by your group uh, to do the installations the correct way. Um, so hopefully this has been helpful to learn more about the, the Wavelink Secure unit. And uh, if you'd like to get one installed, you know, give us a call at our office uh, or you know, visit us online and uh, you know, come by and check them out. Uh, but we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.